Welcome back to our bird farm life. So I received this email, and this makes me really excited, uh, from a YouTube follower of mine. Her name is, or her nom de plume is Clara Barton. Now the real Clara Barton was, uh, I believe that she discovered the Red Cross, or she started the Red Cross. This Clara Barton, or the name that she goes, she goes by Clara Barton, has worked for the Red Cross for many, 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 many years, like many years. Um, I believe 40, maybe over 40. Um, she has seen some interesting things. She's been through, um, with the Red Cross, she's been through earthquakes and tsunamis and war-torn countries, and, and I'm sure she's she's done it all in that, that period of time, because that's a long period of time. Um, but anyway, she has followed me for quite a long time, and she has stated to me in this email that she sent me that she understands what I'm trying to do for my community. And the fact that she's even, uh, paying attention to that or uh, uh, just wanting to be involved in that is, is remarkable in itself. But the fact that she has reached out and she has stated to me that she gets that I'm what I'm trying to do for our community and she wants to help, that is to me beyond amazing. So what we have done or what she has done is she has purchased three gift certificates from my brewery, which helps me out, which thank you so much. Um, but we have between communication um, and she has said to me she would like me to give those gift certificates to people that are going above and beyond in my community um, and uh, just to help out those in need and it doesn't have to be to help out small businesses it doesn't have to be to help out somebody individ like some one individually um, just something that I see that's coming kind of going above and beyond especially right now, especially during our, everyone's time of need, like there are a number of people that are suffering through this. Um, individuals, businesses, you name it, uh, whether it be financially, uh, mentally, physically, there's so many different things that are happening right now. And there's a lot of people in the community that are trying their best to help those in need. And so these gift certificates will be given to three of those people, the, three, the top three people that I can come up with now. There are a number of them, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of decide who I want to give these to. Um, and I'm going to be in talks with Clara about this too because I want her to be part of the decision making. Um, so, on that note, she had also mentioned that she wanted to purchase pizza so that these people could have, um, have some food to eat as well with, with their gift certificate. She had thought that we had sold pizza here, but unfortunately we don't. We're not a restaurant, we're just a brewery. Um, but I said that I would also like to help out somebody or some people in our community. So we've teamed up, we've, we've collaborated, and she has purchased the gift certificate from me. Again, thank you so much. And I'm going to purchase three gift certificates from three local restaurants in town. Um, and we, for pizza. So whoever's getting these gift certificates will get uh, beer and pizza, which is, these are two wonderful combinations. So um, thank you so much, Clara. I will be um, posting these recipients, whether, if they want to be, if they, some of them might choose not to be, but I will be posting these recipients online, um, probably one a week for my next three YouTube videos, uh, once I decide who, who's out there that really deserves them. Um, and we'll go from there. It's just so exciting. I love that this is happening right now and that people are really paying attention to these type of things. So again, Clara Barton, you wonderful woman <laughs> who I think I'm in love with now. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I read your email, I literally bawled my eyes out for an hour. My husband had to sit and listen to me, which he's really good about. And uh, yeah, this, just knowing that there's people out there in the world like you, that helps me get through the day. So thank you again for your wonderful support for my YouTube channel, for our community, and for my business. This is, this is amazing stuff. So stay tuned guys for what's coming as far as this is concerned. It's gonna be some exciting stuff. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about it. Kind of forgotten what our lawn looked like without the shelters. <laughs> They're all down. 
because unfortunately we're in lockdown and nobody can sit out and we thought we better let the grass grow while it can grow. And it's a beautiful day, sun is shining and uh, now's the time if the grass is going to grow it's going to look amazing this summer. Well guys, we're officially down to one more sheep, one more sheep to have their baby. Because we had another little girl. <laughs> Man is she ever cute. Yeah, she's a very pretty girl. Have your babies. Have your babies. She's so ready. Have your babies. So, <laughs> in the winter, we had a little incident with a transport truck and some hop wires. Uh, it got strung up. So long story short, it got stung up, strung up on the hop wires and we had to cut some hop wires down to free it up. And unfortunately what happened was is it pulled out some of the poles in the process. Um, a lot of damage, but it's no big deal. It's very easily fixed. So that's what we're working on today, trying to get that stuff done. With the help of the cows. How come I never get a ride? David put the drone up and he's horrible for never checking the batteries before he does it. So it flew home. It had had enough. It's like I'm going to take my lunch break right now. So I'm on my way to tell it no lunch break, put some batteries in it and put it back up in the air. <laughs> up, up and away. Why won't it hold? Because you bent it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's Jack. It's on your cross. See, like right? she made your cross. Look at this, too. I know. That bent inside the wood. That's one solid piece. I know. Huh. Can we take this off and straighten that pole? I, I can't get those eyelets off. Well, yeah, that, 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 the island on the other side is yeah. kind of, it's wrecked, isn't it? We can use this one. Out of these three, we can make one good one. This hook will yeah, go in this body, yeah. and then the eyelet's still on that one. And then Nikki can put her goose head somewhere else then. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a swan, Jack. Sorry, swan. It's a swan. <laughs> Didn't you even make a can of the goose? You had to make yeah, a swan? Yeah, a swan. So you don't want this then? It's a swan. What, what you're saying? No. No, there's no 
there's one right there. It's moving. <laughs> yep. We're bringing some wildlife with you, bud. Oh, yeah. He's mad. What? Bite the stick. We want to get you off the driveway. It scares me every time, so... There it is! Come on! Come on! Bite on so that we, we can move it. you. Yeah. Just grabbing it. We don't want anyone to hit you. Our dinosaur every year. Stay off of the driveway, buddy. I know you're angry. Off of the driveway. Yeah, you'll get hit. The car will get you. <laughs> He's like, listen, you jerk. <laughs> I was on a mission. Yep. Cool. So every year, this poor turtle, this it's a snapping turtle, so you have to be very careful. And I'm, I know people don't realize how dangerous they can actually be. This turtle could probably break my arm if it wanted to. But anyway, it, uh, it has to be moved because he likes to follow the driveway and people don't realize that he's there. So we always move him every single year. And it's a little hairy, it's a little scary, but he'll be on his way down to the river or to a bigger pond because our pond's quite small. So he winters in our pond and heads uh, south for the, for the summer. But we love him. It's a nice little spring treat every single year for about 13 years now. What we woke up to this morning again. Morning Holly. You seem to be in the wrong spot. What are you doing? Good morning. That's not right. You're in the wrong spot. Come on Holly, let's go. Come on Holly. Well guys, that's it. We're officially done lambing. These guys have done really really well. For my first lambing experience it's been relatively easy. We had one sick ewe which we got through um, and we had one stuck lamb but we had no issues taking him out either. So um, we had our last lamb born this morning. It's a little boy and man is he ever cute. Hey little guy. Oh hi mom. <laughs> Look at those eyes. So that's it. Kind of sad actually because I was really loving it, but at the same time I can sleep again. So <laughs> sleep is nice. I like sleep. These guys are awesome though. I'm really enjoying the lambing. <laughs> So thanks again for watching guys. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. We'll talk to you next week. Cheers. What are you doing? Are you meeting new friends? Is that fun?